Hi everybody, I'm back. Since we had a huge snow the other day, I decided that I was going to read another winter book for all of you. So I have my hat and gloves on and I'm ready to roll. So today's book is called Big Snow by Jonathan Bean. Big Snow. So look at the neighborhood before it started to snow. Do we see any white in this picture? It looks like a nice fall day. Mom, said David, when will it snow? I think soon, said Mom. Why don't you help me make cookies while you wait? So David helped Mom make cookies. He took the sugar and raisins and flour from the cupboard. He measured out two cups of sugar. He measured one cup of raisins. But then the flour, white and fine, made David think of snow. So he decided to check the weather. Small flakes fell softly, white and fine. Mom, said David, do you think it will snow taller than the grass? I think so, said Mom. Why don't you help clean the bathrooms while you wait to find out? So David helped mom clean. He put on the big yellow gloves, he sprayed the cleaner, and he scrubbed with a heavy brush. But then the suds, white and fluffy, made him think of snow. So David decided to check the weather. What do you think he's going to see? You think he's gonna see more snow? The flakes were lying white and fluffy. Mom, said David, do you think the snow will cover everything? I think it could, said Mom. Why don't you help me change the sheets while you wait to find out? We have guests coming. So David took sheets from the closet. He helped Mom take off the old sheets and put on the new. But then the new sheets, white and cool, made him think of the snow. So David decided to check the weather. The snow was covering everything, white and cool. Mom, said David, is it going to be a big snow? It just might, said mom. Why don't you finish eating lunch and then take your nap while you wait to find out? So David took his blanket and pillow from his bed. He curled up in the big armchair. He closed his eyes and began to dream. And he dreamt. It was a very big snow. That the snow fell heavy. That the wild wind pushed the flakes through the window cracks that it howled and shook the walls, that it roared and blew open all the doors and piled drifts upon the house. Mom, called David, this is the big snow. Yes, called Mom, help me clean up this huge mess. So David helped Mom clean up the snow. He tried to push the door shut, but the drifts were too deep. He tried to shovel away the drifts, but the snow just fell heavier. Suddenly, loud thumping shook the house. David woke up. There was stomping at the door. It was dad, home from work early. Dad, said David, is it a very big snow? Why don't you come out for yourself and look? So David and mom put on their winter coats. They wrapped long scarves around their necks and they pulled on warm hats and gloves. Then David, dad and mom went out to check on the big snow. The end. So did David get the snow that he was hoping for? Yeah, he did. I know I love snow so, so much. So when I woke up the other morning and I saw that we had so much snow, the trees were starting to fall over. There was so much snow. I was so excited. 
I couldn't wait to take pictures of the snow and the snow even has a special smell. How about you? Were you excited to see the snow? Let me turn my camera around so you can see what the snow looks like now. Do you see all of that snow? It's so beautiful. Look at this tree. The tree snapped because there was so much snow on it. It couldn't carry it anymore. I hope all of you enjoyed this book. I hope all of you got to go outside at least once to enjoy the snow. And I will see all of you guys next time. Bye.